Alright guys, it's BC back with another video. Moto's behind the lens helping me out today. And I have been getting question after question about how to turn a snowmobile in deep snow. Um, a lot of you guys are having an easy time on the trails when you're beginning. But once you want to make the leap to, uh, to get off the trail and be in the deep snow, you're having a lot of problems. So we're going to shoot a quick video. We'll probably do a part one and a part two to this. Um, but let's jump right into it. So when you're beginning to learn to side hill, we're in this wide open field and that is where I recommend you guys learn to side hill. So many of you guys try to come out west and uh, go straight to the mountains and learn how to side hill and the snow is deeper, every slope is uneven and it just, it's overwhelming for you guys. So start on something where there's some snow but not too much snow and it's flat preferably. So once you pick where you're gonna start to learn, I'm gonna jump in and give you a few steps. So. A lot of you guys are frustrated, and rightfully so. When we were beginning, we got really frustrated because we really had no idea what we're doing. Um, with that being said, I want to go into a few different things on why you're probably getting frustrated. And, uh, and we'll fix them here later in the video, so hang around. So, to begin, you guys are not understanding how a snowmobile is meant to be turned. And what I mean by that is so many people try to turn a snowmobile just like they turn a four-wheeler. They want to turn the handlebars and it ends up going the wrong way. So that is not how we want to turn a snowmobile. What we want to do is get the snowmobile up on edge like you've probably seen in a lot of videos and by getting it on edge we can take the steepness out of side hills and we can make the snowmobile do what we want and not rely on our body weight and gravity. So what does that mean? That means that we cannot be using the steering wheel, steering the handlebars basically, and our central weight to turn the snowmobile. So how are you going to turn the snowmobile? Let's start with one, getting on edge. Into the technique of learning to side hill. The first thing we need to do is get you on edge. What that means is we need one ski in the snow and one ski out of the snow. This is how you're going to cross hills. This is how you're going to maneuver through trees. So to get on edge, there's a couple things we can do to make it easier. So, so many people when they're learning is they're trying to horse the snowmobile over. And uh, when a snowmobile is 400 pounds and you're 100 and something pounds or 200 or something pounds, it's not going to work, especially on hills. So we need to use the snowmobile to get on edge. What we're going to do is we're going to counter steer. So if you want to go left, let me turn around. If you want to go this way, you need to be turning the skis this way. And that can, that confuses a lot of people. Counter steer. You're going to turn the opposite way that you want to go. What that's going to do is that's going to make friction on that ski and start to get you going on the right edge that you want to be on. And I'll show you some examples of that. So once we counter steer, we're going to blip the throttle. And by blip, I don't mean pin and hold it. I mean just snap the gas. And what that's going to do is that's going to set the snowmobile up on its side. So you can imagine if, it's, if the track is propelling skis forward in the snow, we're going to turn them this way, which is going to create drag this way. And then we're going to blip the snowmobile to get it up on edge like this. And what that's going to do is it's going to take the muscling and the hanging off the side out of control out of the equation. All right, guys, so there's a couple things we want to do to ensure your safety. Tether on. We want a finger on the brake, start getting used to that, and we want to have a helmet on. So what we're going to do is I'm going to side hill to the left, okay? So to side hill to the left, I'm going to turn my skis to the right like this. So as you can see, this sled wants to come on edge a lot easier when I do that. So what we'll do is we're just going to go in a straight line with our feet straddled and uh, we'll show you how this works. So we're going straight, going straight, and now as I counter steer, Give it some time 
and we will start to get better and better at it but remember go forward use the throttle and then turn the handlebars the opposite way that you want to go like i just showed you guys you'll know that you're doing this technique correctly if you're not using your muscle to get the snowmobile and hold the snowmobile on edge guys that are hanging off the snowmobile to try to get a snowmobile on edge on flat ground they just don't know the technique so it should be super easy um, effort wise it should just be you're going forward counter steer blip and you're there we don't want to have it where you're using so much muscle and so much strain that you're worn out before you even get to the the powder on top of the mountain conserve energy be calm and let this technique take time this whole thing of side hilling there's multiple steps to it but this is the first step and that's getting on edge now that we're on edge the sled most sleds are going to want to stay on edge but to balance we're not going to be shifting our weight back and forth because these things are too heavy and you're going to be facing uneven slopes and gravity let's face it is stronger than any one of us so what we're going to do is we're going to use our handlebars to then keep us on edge we're going to be up on edge and if you start your feeling yourself fall down just give it a little more throttle or just counter steer even harder into the hill or into the way you want to go what we don't want to do guys is be completely out of control on the throttle if you have to go faster and faster and faster and faster to keep the side hill you're not relying on technique you're relying on power and that is where you get into trouble so be in control finger on the brake tether on you're going to get up we're going to be blip 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 like that and if we feel the snowmobile falling back down just counter steer more use those handlebars to then help you stay on edge all right guys so this is just going a little bit more into depth on balance watch my skis once i get up so I'm going to counter steer pretty harshly for a split second and blip the throttle. And then once I'm up there, it's just going to be kind of a feeling like riding a bike. When it starts to fall, I'll give it a little bit more, a little bit more, and uh, use the skis to balance me. I wish I could show you, but especially in flat terrain, I am pretty much stationary on the snowmobile. The snowmobile is moving, but I'm not horsing it around. I'm just letting my technique do the work for me all right guys so here we go okay so we're going to turn and flip okay now we're on edge so now that we're on edge we're going to use these skis to to balance us so i'll go left and straighten it out All right, guys so staying on edge it's gonna take some time it's it's like riding a bike it's gonna take some time to feel what it, your balance point is something that I want you to do when you're learning this and uh, in this video we're talking about being each foot on the, each side of the running board we're not talking about an opposite foot forward but when you're doing this guys feel what it feels like to put your feet forward and and notice what the snowmobile does and then put your feet all the way to the back and feel what it does. And you'll start to learn that different terrain requires your feet to be in different positions. That will help you then keep an edge along with the handlebar steering. So we want our weight on the right part of the running board, but we do not want to be pulling our shoulders left and right to balance the sled. It's just you're over the snowmobile, your foot's in the right position, and you are then just using your hands to balance. Everyone that I've taught this to, they're more comfortable going left than right. So start left and just do a big circle out in your flat and make it more narrow, more narrow, and more narrow. Kind of get that technique. Transfer the same thing to go into the right. So blip the throttle, get up on edge, and go to the right. If you have any questions, guys, please leave them in the comments. We want to help you guys out because when we were snowmobiling we got very frustrated and it took us a long time to learn this stuff for ourselves so if we can help you out leave a comment part two of this will be coming out um, subscribe and turn on post notifications and uh, like I said 
comment any questions and follow us on Instagram. More tips will be more tips, tricks, and entertainment rather will be on that as well. So thank you guys. Hang in there. It's going to take some time, but love you.